What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at two new additions to the developer console. First, we're going to be adding a clear command that clears all the previous text from the console. And secondly, we're going to be integrating the help function so that we can make use of the description and help text through all of our commands. All right, let's get started. So let's go to our project and we're going to be creating a new script and let's call it command clear. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and open up our editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and after this function, I'm going to add in a public void clear console function that I can call from my command. And it's simply going to take my console text dot text and make it equal to an empty string. Next, I'm going to copy my command quit, paste it in my command clear and re replace all instances of command quit with command clear. So we have a base to work from. Then I'm going to go ahead and edit the name, command, description, and help texts. Once we're done with that, let's go down to the run command function. And inside of it, we're going to get rid of what's already there. And we're simply going to call developer console dot instance, because we did create a static instance in the previous tutorial, uh, dot clear console, the function that we just created in the developer console dot CS file. Now, finally, let's go to the create commands function and add our new function command clear here. And once we've done that, we can go back to unity, start the game. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the cube function that we did. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just type it in. And then with the second one, I'm just going to call it with some parameters here. And the reason that I'm doing this is just to show you the console being cleared. So now let's type in clear and the console text is gone. So I'm going to type in one more thing just so you can see some text come back and let's just type in clear one more time. And just like that, we've added a command clear function. So again, how it works is very simply, we've added a function to clear the console text dot text just by making it an empty string. And we're just calling it from a clear function. There's not really much to it. It was pretty easy, but I thought I'd show you guys how to do it anyways. So the second part of this video involves actually making use of that description and help text that we had previously integrated into all of our commands. So let's go back into our editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the help or dash help is being called because that's what we're going to use to call help is the dash help argument. So before we call our commands at the bottom, let's check if help uh, was passed in and uh, we'll put a dash help as we called it before. Let's change lit to list while we're at it. And what we're going to do is we're going to check that if our args dot contains and then the dash help, this is a, another link function that we can use. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to add some messages to the console here. So I'm just going to add some equal signs here and I'm just going to add some text formatting. You don't have to do this part. You can actually just call the two variables that you're going to need. Um, those are going to be your commands, uh, passing in your input at zero to get the specific command you want to talk about. And then at the end, it's going to be first dot description. And then you can just add the dot help after it, but I'm once one more time, I'm going to just clean the formatting up. So it shows up nicely. And right here, I'm going to call the add message to console and just do the commands at input zero. And then I'm going to do, uh, the dot help so that first it's going to type the description, a little formatted line, and then it's going to type the help. Now, if we pass in the help function, what we want to do is we want to return uh, and the reason is that the reason we're doing that is because we don't want to call a function and have it actually go and try and run that function. If we're calling dash help, we want to stop the function from working right there. So let's go back to unity and let's test out our new function. So what we're going to do is we're going to play, we're going to bring up the console and I'm going to type in, uh, let's do, let's do cube dash help. And now you can see first the description and then the options that I created when I created the command cube. Now let's do the same thing, uh, except let's do it for the quit function. And then one more time, let's do it for the clear function, just so you can see all of the descriptions. And I'm going to clear the console and I'm going to stop it. And just like that, we have added two functions to our console, one clearing the console and two 
adding the help function for each command that we input before and from now on. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning back in and we'll see you in the next one.